Hi, welcome to the micro training videos of Clinic Source. Today we're going to be discussing how to enter multiple reason codes when posting a new remittance or a new patient payment, but choosing payee as your option. Go ahead and log into the training environment. First, I'd like to bring your attention to setup and reason codes. This is going to be a, an area where you can enter the most commonly used reason codes. Um, I've currently got 45 charges exceed contractual legislated fee arrangement as a CO for contractual obligation entered. But let's go ahead and enter another reason code. So let's say I'd like to have a copayment for PR. So I'm going to go ahead and add a reason code. We'll do uh, for copayment 03. And it's just for co-payment amount. And the default group would be PR for patient responsibility. And I'm going to mark it active. Click the plus key off to the right-hand side to insert it. And I've successfully created a new uh, reason code as shortcuts. And these are very effective when posting new remittances. So that's the table. Now let's go into payments. So if I go into payments, of course, we can do one of two payment types. I can come up to the upper um, left hand side and do a new payment or click the briefcase for new remittance. Let's go to remittance first. And when the uh, remittance opens, I'll choose the insurance of my patient, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Down below, we'll see the treatment involved. A um, little bit new off to the right hand side, you'll see it says reason codes now. When I do select that line item to post, you'll see reason codes has a drop down. I can go ahead and enter my multiple reason codes. So let's say I wanted to add a reason code. I can choose the you know PR3 for the amount of ten dollars maybe as my for my copayment, and I can also add another reason code. And we'll do the 45 as like the 3750 for the write-off as an example. Okay. So I've just successfully added two reason codes in uh, for that line item. When I go ahead and exit out, okay, I'll see those reason codes off to the uh, right hand side. And that line item, I could now post it or apply the payment and those reason codes will still be visible uh, down below. Okay. So no matter if you enter two reason codes, three reason codes, you have the ability of entering all the appropriate reason codes now when posting payments. Um, this is posting the new remittance. Uh, if I delete this, just to show you on the patient side of things, posting a new patient payment. Okay. So the patient payment screen will open, but remember, uh, select the payee up at the top left. So I'd be Blue Cross Blue Shield. Again, the insurance uh, treatment line item there will be displayed. And it's the same actions where I can check off the line item, choose my you know reason codes, enter the appropriate reason codes that I'd like to have available. Okay, add a code, 45, and we'll just do the 3750 there. Exit out and apply. Okay. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video on entering the shortcuts and for reason codes and setup and reason codes, as well as posting reason codes to your line items, either by posting a new remittance and or a patient payment by selecting payee.